but we want to think about this in every country in the world, in, in every uh, corner of the world. And that just as I was saying that civilian and military dimensions of global police state and repression are becoming blurred. Um, the same thing is that is that war. There's no longer there's, there's no longer wars and conflicts in the confines of nation states. We need to see this as transnational struggles, transnational conflict, transnational repression. You know, another example is that we have um, private military firms are now have or at least when I finished the book and this is expanding 15 million soldiers work for private military firms for profit and states all around the world are employing these private military firms so they were in standing rock you know a private military company they're now going up to to embridge but these same private right. military fir firms are in iraq and in the middle east they're in latin america they're in S southern africa they're all around the world we have 20 million private police in the world again these are corporations that are doing this for profit more private police than there are public police and these are being deployed in 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 portland and in standing rock and now where embridge is being constructed but also all around the world so these corporations they are hired all around the world we can't think of them as you know as national and we can't think of a global police state as as uh national there's much more to discuss if you ask you know how is this transnational is that transnational capital goes into mexico or central america to seize resources disrupts people displaces them from the land and that so they're repressed inside central america by police and military forces both private and public but then they migrate to the united states because they've been dis dispossessed and they're refugees and here in the united states they say face the same public and private military and security forces and systems of repression so absolutely we that's why that you know the title of the book is not police state but global police state well, I was stopped at Standing Rock by one of these private uh, uh, sort of mercenary forces. And what was so unsettling is they had set up a roadblock. They were dressed in black with Kevlar, with long-barreled weapons, but they had no identification at all on their uniforms. They demanded right. all of my credentials, and yet they refused my request to identify themselves. Uh, and so there's, you're, you're, what you're building is not just a global police force, you're building global mercenary units that are completely unaccountable. Yeah, corporate warriors. Right. Serving capital. Great. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation about the global police state with Professor William Robinson.